Uh, today I'm going to give you all a quick demonstration of Flight Map, a new Android application that works with Flight Simulator 10 and uh, plots your uh, current location along Google Maps and allows some navigation features. So let's show you all the app real quick. So Flight Map is right here and I'll go ahead and launch it. Uh, the first thing that the app does is it asks you for your server address. There's a uh, server component that runs on the machine that's running Flight Simulator and uh, you need to enter in the IP address of it or there is a discover button. You click the discover button and the application will go out and find the server if it's running on the network. Um, another thing that you have the option to do is to change the follow me airplane. There's most of the default Flight Simulator airplanes are in here and a couple others. Um, so it's kind of cool. I haven't really done anything about designing this page yet, so uh, I need to do that, but uh, it's kind of cool right now. So once you've selected your airplane, you can go ahead and click the connect button, and it'll take you into the main interface. Uh, the main interface consists of uh, the map view, and then some gauges that I'll talk about later. Uh, in the map view, you can have to zoom in and zoom out, so I can zoom out. Right now I'm flying near Key West and I can zoom in. I can also change the map type. MPT is a map type so I can switch to satellite. I can switch to satellite with the navigation items. I can switch to the uh, um, height map view and then back to the normal Google view. Um, there is also uh, the ability to switch between the follow me mode and just a regular mapping mode. So right now I'm in follow me mode, that's when I have the airplane on the screen, but if I, ch if I click this little button right here next to the flight plan, it switches into the map view mode. And now I can use all the normal gestures and everything that you would use to navigate. And uh, let's say I wanted to go to Key Largo. I can start adding some waypoints. So let's go ahead and add that. I've added one there. Let's see, I'll add one to Miami. And then uh, how about uh, another one in Naples here. And if you want to make one active, you just click it. And now I've got a a bearing to the to the location that I've marked on the map. Um, I can click the follow me button and now I can go in and see my map. Now the next thing I have is I've got some gauges over here. I've got the airspeed indicator, I've got the direction indicator, I've got the altimeter and fuel gauges both left and right. Now I'll go ahead and show that these can change by I've got autopilot right now on with the SciTech controls so I'll just go ahead and change this thing to you know, hit a little little more southeast and you can see the uh, airplane is changing direction in the map and the direction indicator is changing with it. Um, I can also slow the plane down so I'm going to pull slow it down you'll see the airspeed indicator will start to drop and match the one on here now I have programmed it to be uh, 0 to 500 knots. Uh, I wanted to support more than just a, a smaller aircraft. I wanted to support jets and other things, so I needed a speed gauge that went over you know, 200. So I made my own. And it's going to go ahead and speed back up again. And then finally the, altim the altimeter go ahead and increase this to 2,000 feet and you'll see that the altimeter will start rising and it matches the altimeter in the in the simulator. The fuel gauges will go down as the uh, fuel decreases but that's it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much flight map in a nutshell right there. Um, I'm 
probably going to be adding a few more features before I release it, but uh, and some graphical updates. But um, yeah, that's Flight Map. Thanks for watching.